Step in the box, baseball fans. We're back for another episode. Tops Chrome, 2020 Tops Chrome. Cello packs. These two are from the Meyer where I hung out this morning. We equally got distributed between seven guys. And then these were from various targets around the area. Um, was able to pick up a few here and there. So let's get into this. Um, again, these were $12.98 and they have five. And then these are Target, and I didn't realize they have three pinks. So let's get after it. Actually, I'm going to save the five for last. Let's do this. I'm going to open these bad boys up, stack them up. Let's do the packs. So again, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a good start to your weekend. Opening up Chrome. This is my last go at Chrome. Wanted to load up. Try to get a stack of each rookie. Again, I'm a collector. I like to buy a lot. I like to stack up those rookies, get rookies graded, get my Cubs stacked up as well. So again, here we go. Tons and tons of chrome have you been able to find any chrome if not get out there and look it's not impossible it's difficult believe me it is difficult it kind of depends on your area my area let me tell you what there are walmart's targets myers everywhere everywhere i can go north south east and west and i can run into if I keep driving, if I'm willing to drive, they don't stop. I can go north into Wisconsin. I can go to the west suburbs of Chicago. I can go to the south suburbs of Chicago. I can go to Chicago itself. There are freaking tons and tons and tons of retail stores everywhere. Today I was able to find a little bit. Um, many guys, like in my other video, we walked into one Walmart and there were 15 guys sitting there waiting for cards. 15. Me and my buddy immediately took off. All right, so I'm going to do this. All right, here we go. And today was such a fun day hanging out with somebody. So much fun, more fun when you have somebody that enjoys the hobby going on a road trip. Let's see what we can pull here. Again, basically have paid for a case worth of cards and in turn and, and not had to pay a case worth of cards because 300 times 12, somebody do the math for me. That's how much you're gonna pay for a case of cards. And I'm not paying 300 bucks a box for hobby boxes. 450 for jumbo, five autographs. So sticking to retail, loading up. I don't necessarily um there's a rookie. I don't necessarily need uh all the crappy rookie autographs because there's a lot of bad ones. But I don't mind loading up. And there is a purple judge. Nice. That's a nice one. Color, purple, sweet. That's a nice little hit. Put him on the poo holes. Put him on the, kind of get the, oh, don't want to open those. want to stick to these. I'm trying to sort and get ahead of myself. Kuna on the back. Really bummed about uh, the Cubs Cardinals series. What a total bummer. All weekend canceled. As a Cubs fan, getting to uh, watch Cubs Cardinals, what a bummer. I was looking forward to watching some baseball. That is a bummer. Toro, I wish I was an Alvarez. That's a refractor. But yeah, today was a blast. Literally, Left my house at 745 
and got home about 6.30ish maybe. Full day on the road, went to at least a minimum, I gotta count them up, at least 15 different Myers Walmarts. It was crazy. I haven't done that since last summer. Another Acuna of those, two back. Last summer when nobody was buying Series 2 at all and there were Series 2 everywhere, I drove to every single Meyer. There's a cubby. I'm going to actually put that in a sleeve. It's my cubby. Um, when nobody was buying any of the uh, Series 2 before it got super hot, I won... One uh, Saturday, got in the car, and there's a rookie negative. That's a cool card. We'll put that. So a couple nice colors here. Judge and that one. Uh, me and my ex-girlfriend got in the car. I dragged her out and freaking drove around to every mire. I did 16 mires in one day. And mires aren't as close. There's an Aquino. Myers are not as close as like Walmarts and Targets in my area, so there's a little more work to be done. And holy cow, man, just we drove and drove and drove and stopped and got out. She was exhausted by the end of the day, how much walking we did in and out. You'd be surprised. And I bought over 300 Meyer blister packs with the purples that day. Judge. And there we go. And I got a bunch of those cards graded. Hit some Tatis purples, Pete purples, Alonzo purples. Hit some Eloy purples. That was a crazy day. I could not believe nobody was buying those either. There were full racks of them. And then it took off. And then as they stocked, they were going off the shelf. But that was fun. Those are the summers you kind of remember. Kind of remember what you're doing. Card collecting, you remember uh, fall of 18, I'll never forget. Fall and spring of 18 when 2018 update. Boy, don't we all wish we bought more update. And let me tell you what, I bought a, quite a bit of update, 2018 update. I probably had 20 round of Kunas, 20 of each rookie at least. And uh, still got some of them laying around. Got a bunch of them graded. But I can go back, I can go back summer 17, Tops Archives, 2017 Tops Archives. I was driving around buying as many blaster boxes that had the coins, because those things, and there's an autograph, Nick Solak, sweet. Add that to the color pile and the good pile we got going over here. So I was loading up on archives. I cannot tell you how many judge autographs I pulled out of retail as well as hobby. And I love the blaster box with the coin. Again, nobody was buying them. See, like everybody complains now of, um, hey, you're buying anything. But dude, people used to not buy any of them. It's, that's what's crazy. I mean, people did, but not like now. It, you could go to any Walmart, almost any Meyer, any, any place, and there's a Nico that'll go on my pile. And literally, if it hits the, it's the shelf now, it's gone. But man, I pulled some fire out of 17 archives. And holy cow, guys. Another autograph, even though it's not a stud autograph, another autograph. So we had three autographs. One, so that's two here. That's two here and one in the blaster boxes. So three autographs in this so far. We're not quite done. Again, we haven't hit that monster, but there are autographs in this stuff. But I mean, again, we all wanna hit, hit the Bo Bichette autograph. That was a huge one. That's pretty darn good if you ask me. And you're lucky there's a nice refractor of Vladdy. Pretty card. Second year cup. That's going to go on the star pile. Loading up on the stars. 
Loading up on the refractors. And there's a Jordan. Welcome to the ball game, Jordan. Can't wait till you get back and mashing again. So we still have the pinks. We still have the pinks, guys. Not a, and there's a Nico that goes in my personal collection. Insert. So we have a little ways to go here. A lot of packs. Rip them. Whoops. Two packs there. Soto. There's my Cubs going on the pile. Freshman Flash. Let's keep it going. Goldschmidt on the back. Goldschmidt Refractor. Get rid of those Cardinals. Those bum Cardinals. They can't keep from going to the casino in Milwaukee. Now they all have coronavirus. And they didn't want to play the Cubs. And there's a that's a good pack. Lewis. Base. And the stack's getting bigger. And here's a Jordan insert. That is such a pretty looking insert. That one is not centered worth a crap. Wow. Not even close. When you catch that the naked eye, wow, that's horrible. Those, that's what I'm used to. Somebody commented how good those look and how centered they look. A lot of them has been really centered. That one, terrible. Yelich Refractor. So again, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the support. It's been a good couple days. Gained over 40 subscribers overnight. If you're new, thanks for coming in. This is Amateur Hour. Never claimed to be a professional. This is an iPhone. I'm at my kitchen table. There's a Lux. And um, started just for fun. So if you want to give some constructive criticism, keep that in mind. I have a new rule. If you're going to give me constructive criticism about the way I pronounce a player's name in here, there's a Boba Shed on the back, that you must pronounce my last name correctly. There's a Nico going to my personal collection. You must, and there's a Javi, you must pronounce my name correctly to be able to badmouth me for pronouncing a baseball player's name. That's my new rule in this in this video series. Eloy, one more pack, and then we're moving on to the exclusive pinks. Everybody loves the pink, don't we? Love that pink. Guerrero. And there's the refractor. All right, let me get this base out of the way. Big stacks of base. What do you do with your base cards, all right, we're going to start with the three packs. These are the target. These are the target three packs that you pay. So basically, the Walmart, you're paying two more dollars for two more pink cards. Not a good deal, in my opinion. That's not a good buy. Tanaka, Posey, Arenada. A bunch of stars, no rookies. I want all rookies. We want the Alvarez, Lux, Bichette, and... Luis Robert, Luis Robert, Luis Robert. Hey, you name it, you say it. <laughs> you can say his name any way you want. All veterans there. My buddy who I went with today, he opened up some of his pinks and he pulled a Luis Robert in a pink. That's a huge hit. Javi going in my PC. My Cubs and there's Schwarber going in my PC. Loading up on Cubbies. So yes, I've only sold one Cubs card in my lifetime That's that was really worth anything, and that was an Eloy gold autograph out of 50. Another R not of Posey, same pack. Um, sold a, I pulled it out of Bowman. I believe it was 17 Bowman. That was his first year auto, Bowman. A gold autograph, and I could not hold on to that card. There's an AJ Puck. I'm gonna put that with the. I'm gonna put that in the rookie sleeve. So yeah, I put um, 
pulled his card, decided that it was worth way too much for me to hold on to, and I sold it. And the card went up a little bit in value, but really, I think I made a good decision there. Sometimes you got to know when to hold stuff, when to... But that paid for that paid for a lot of investing of, of what I did. Here's another rookie, Bradley. Cruz. So, so far, these pinks haven't been really kind to us. The puck, if the puck's the best one, I'm not a big into pitchers either. I don't really collect pitchers. Um, Walker Bueller. Pitchers just take for, they just don't hold the value that hitters have. Let's face it, I'm looking for the stud hitters. And hot rookies. But then again, you never know who's going to be a stud. So those, I tell you what, those target ones were, were kind of duds. Here comes the Meyer. Got these at Meyer. Being second in line. My buddy was first. I was second. These are pretty, though. What rookie is this? And Hilliard. So, so far... Nothing, but, you know, the funny thing is, is I pulled out some Shane Bieber pinks. Shane Bieber pinks were with jack crap. Last pack. Thanks again for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. What do you think? And speaking of pink, there we go. That's all it took, guys. That's going to grading. What a sick card. That is beautiful. Going in the sleeve, I'll wipe it down later. There's a little speck of dust. I'm not going to touch it with my finger. Wash my hands real good before I open these. Some people like gloves. I don't really think gloves are necessary. So let's do just a... Here's the rookie pinks. We just saw the stack. Um, stack of refractors and whatnot. And then here we go. This is the real... This is the... What I think is the good pal. Jordan pink. Puck, Pink, Lux Base, Jordan Base, Lewis, Al oh, Jordan, Autograph, Autograph, Aquino, and then the color to finish it. So overall, not bad, too bad. I, I don't think that's actually too bad for those sell-up packs. Some of my favorite with the pinks. Um, we didn't pull uh, Luis Robert, which is kind of a bummer out of that break, but it is what it is. Sometimes you get lucky. Appreciate you guys. Have a great night. Peace.